everybody, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel for your awakening journey. So today's channel has to do with the full moon coming up. So I hope you enjoy it. And I've got a lot of examples of my own to, to share with you. And thank you to all of you for joining me today. And welcome to everyone who is new. I have a welcome video on my YouTube channel, Carolyn Zeiser. You'll be able to learn a little bit more about how I began channeling the light keepers. And then I have a free gift video for you, which teaches you how to create flow in your body for health and wellness during the awakening journey because our vessel, our body is so important to that journey. And then that leads you to a bunch more free content too. So with that, let's get going on this full moon channel. All right, here we go. Let the lightness float you away. Know that you were feeling this way from the times that are changing so and your own immortal soul. Moving forward with a leap and a bound, never knowing what around the corner will astound. Your feet not on the ground you may feel. This new energy from the full moon instills something different, oh, you'll see. Just understand a lightheadedness it may be. So ground yourself in the best way you find. Take a walk in nature for your mind, connecting with all that is divine. The changes and shifts are here for you. You can't help but feel it, and in some way you will. Know it is all goodness and grace to keep you raising your vibration at a pace, leading the rest of the human race in this journey that someday they too will make. So we've got a full moon coming up and I wanted to post this because I also wanted to share some of what I've been experiencing with the full moon. So I don't keep real good track of celestial events. I've mentioned this before, like I'm kind of lucky to remember, know if there's a full moon coming. Somehow I have been aware of it over the last three months and they have been significant events for me. And most of it has been clearing past lives. Now, what I'm gonna say to you is something that you may feel but not be aware of. And what I have realized is for the full moon, we have the opportunity to release into the, into the moon what no longer serves us, what we are looking to release from us, whatever that may be. Well, my situation, has been very profound past lives that have come each month of 2019 for me to clear. And I won't go into the detail of all the past lives that I've cleared, um, although they make a video on their own. <laughs> but what has happened to me is I have gone into oftentimes traumatic um, physical situations the week before the full moon, um, illnesses, emotional situations and I am pretty like this most of the time with respect to how I feel, how I am each day. I don't have a lot of ups and downs. I knew something was up when this was going on. And long story short, I was clearing so much the week before the full moon and many of you are doing that too. I just want you to know that, okay? If you're feeling, and you might feel this throughout the course of the month too, but what I've noticed is is most profound before the full moon for things we need to release. Like it's a signal for us to go, oh, oh, okay. Now you might not all know it's past lives or even what it is, but that sense of something that is wishing to be cleared from you is sitting in you. It could, well, I've had horrible neck pains to the point of um, like um, nerve spasms. I've had cramps. So what you'll possibly notice is a real shift in your emotions, your physical body, thoughts moving through your mind. And what I would suggest you do, which is what I have done, and again, you, you may not necessarily know where this is coming from. I just have the ability to tap into past lives along with a friend of mine assisting me through this journey. But the point is, is you're gonna, you could potentially will feel a difference during before the full moon. And then what you can do, and this has been powerful for me, is to spend some time with the full moon, whether you can see it or not. Now I've been lucky, and I live in Iowa, and we don't get a lot of sun, um, particularly now. I've been able to see the full moon all three months. And so what I've done is I've sat in my window, I've looked at the full moon, for just a few minutes and I have released into the full moon what no longer serves me from 
that life, and in your case, it may be a situation or just what your that feeling is. All right, what does that feel like? You want to release that feeling, or the, and and know that you have that knowing that something is occurring, and that is often enough to release that. And then from there, what I will do is I will also give gratitude for that life or that experience or that feeling because there was purpose behind it originally, and now whatever that experience was that's coming through us now can be released because our cells and our body are releasing this to allow us to be lighter. And the full moon's a beautiful time to offer that kind of ceremony. Now, when I talk of a ceremony, I'm not great at ceremonies. I light a candle and I sit down and I say a few things. That's it. And I'm going to tell you, oh my gosh, it has been incredibly powerful. Literally the next day, because at night I'm doing this and then I go to bed and the next day, pop, I've, I'm back to myself. I've had this happen three months in a row. And, you know, I've never really had a lot of celestial experiences like that. And I can tell you right now with having had three months of profound experiences with the full moon and very traumatic things that have happened the week before because I'm clearing these very difficult lives. Not that you're going to have that necessarily. But... There is power behind creating a ceremony with the full moon, power behind that releasing event. And then you can talk all about the new moon and then bringing in what you want. So this is a full moon channel and I'm not going to go into the new moon component of it, but I really would challenge you to sit with yourself in the full moon, make eye contact with the full moon. If you can see the moon that night, even for a few minutes, and if you can't see it, have that intention out there. Look into the skies, all right? And then release what you've been feeling that week. Release those energies, knowing that you have good intent to, to do so and that you're recognizing that you're going through something, even if you can't identify it like I do with my past lives. So I'm sure I'm going to have more months come up where I'm continuing to release because I'm going to tell you right now, 2019, particularly these early months, are very significant for releasing so that we can lighten ourselves up and really blaze forward in 2019. But I'm sure I'm not done having some of this happen. Who knows what's going to happen to me in the next week or so because I'm filming this a week before the full moon. And so, again, I'll, I probably should do a follow-up for you. But I just want you to know that and then create a little ceremony of your own if you're feeling something different happening with the full moon. And not to mention, you can do that anyway, even if you're not feeling anything. You can release what you feel no longer serves you. So I have proven out for myself something that I never really understood, thought about for my entire awakening and journey until 2019. And now I am a tried and true believer that you can release into the full moon and it will shift you dramatically. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, I want to remind you of my services, purplerainhealing.com. You can visit for my services of distance energy healing, spiritual awakening mentoring, which is super powerful for the people I'm working with since I'm also channeling from, for your spirit team during those sessions. And I love working with you guys. And then I also offer channeling sessions where you get your own personalized channeled messages. So launch yourself forward in spring and check my services out and connect with me if you are interested. And in the meantime, I will be creating more videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.